Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and I hope you guys have had a great Christmas or whatever holiday you may have been celebrating and that you've gotten a great start on a new year. I definitely have and I'm actually a little surprised at myself because I'm very, very, very positive and just excited about this year. I, I have a feeling it's going to be good. Um, <laughs> so I just can't wait to get started. And I am super pleased to tell you that the very first speed paint of this year is an Art Addicts Alliance piece. And it feels really good to be drawing something for the Art Addicts Alliance again since I missed out on the last one. I felt horrible about that. So it's really nice to to be doing this now. And um, today in the Art Addicts Alliance, we are doing a vision board, which is kind of perfect since, you know, it's the beginning of the year. This is where you evaluate and set goals for what you want to what you want to do. <laughs> um, and since this is kind of a personal thing, we're not doing a giveaway this month I hope you guys are cool with that but yeah we decided this is probably a little too personal and yeah but we'll do a giveaway next month so don't worry you can still get some art <laughs> also we have a featured artist whose name I'm probably going to butcher but I'm sorry I'm going to I'm going to attempt to say it right and otherwise just look in the description box down below because there's going to be a link to their channel so um we're collaborating with Ollie Mueller, I think that's the name. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but yeah. Um, so go check him out. That's uh, that's that's all I got there. <laughs> I hope I got through that okay. Um, okay, so we're doing a vision board. And for those of you who are not quite sure what a vision board is, I mean, I'd never heard of it. I, I'd never heard of it before. I was like, what? <laughs> But um, a vision board is typically some sort of collage of images that people use to represent the goals that they have for maybe just this year or perhaps it's just life goals in general. Um, so some people do like a collage, others uh, illustrate and some simply write a, a list. I guess I kind of mixed the illustrative part with the list part. <laughs> um, so yeah. And I'm going to talk a little bit about my goals. Um, they're not just for this year. They're life in general. And as I'm looking at this, I realize there's actually something I missed. But I'm going to mention it anyway. <laughs> That's embarrassing. But yeah. Um, so I wrote down the things that I want to work on. And then I put them into an illustration that I, I quite enjoy doing. I actually really love doing this. So yeah, I'm so excited to share it with you guys. But um, yeah, I put the words in kind of randomly, but they kind of do stick together in a way. But, but yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to get right to it now. I'm not going to talk around it anymore. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, so the first word on my list is kind. And there's a reason for that. You see, through the last what? For almost five years, my life has been quite a roller coaster of, well, not so much ups, but mostly down. Um, things haven't quite gone my way. And uh, through my, because of my health, because of the crappy illness that I have, and my life changed very quickly because I got really, really sick. And I had to give up on my, my job and my career. And, um, and I, I, I'm a true certified workaholic, like crazy. I used to work around 60, sometimes 80 hours a week, which is insane now that I think about it. But back then, that was just standard for me. I was on call 24-7. But um, yeah, I'm reduced to working now nine hours a week, which is just... <laughs> It's so far away from what I used to be able to do. And that really, um, because I was such a workaholic and because I, my job was my life, it was really hard for me to deal with not being able to do those things anymore. I, I've always been very outdoorsy. I'm the kind of person who wants to do everything myself. I can handle myself. I used to be really strong. Um, and yeah, all of that just kind of went away very quickly. And and then there was just battles with doctors and hospitals and, oh God, caseworkers, social workers, all of that stuff. It's been a nightmare. And um, 
And through all of that, because of who who I used to be, it's really hard when your life changes like that. Because the person I used to be is that that that's the person I still am in my head, but my body just can't keep up. And so I'm very limited all of a sudden and I can't do the things that I want to do and my my life just crumbled and there wasn't a single thing I could do about it. So I've been thinking very negatively of myself uh, the past four years. I've been very cruel to myself. I, I think of myself as weak and lazy and useless, basically. And and that's not fair. I didn't choose to be sick. It's not something I can control. It's not my fault. So why the heck do I keep putting myself down over it? And that's got to stop, which is why I want to be kinder to myself this year. And I want to be more positive, which is another word on my list. Um, I want to be more positive about life. Just because my life isn't panning out the way I wanted it to, um, I won't be able to do exactly what I wanted. There's still value in it, and I got to find that value, and I got to use it. I got to get out. I got to start living again. So I want to be more positive and actually start believing that I can do this. <laughs> and believe is also a word on my list because I need to believe in myself more. I need to believe that I can actually do this. Um, that I can make something of my life even if I can't do it the way I thought I would. Um, yeah, I got real deep. <laughs> Um, so a word that I actually forgot to write down in this illustration, which annoys me is social, because that is really something that is at the top of my list, because through these years where I've been struggling so much, I have really disliked myself. And because I dislike myself so much, I assumed that everybody else would hate me kind of, uh, so I withdrew. I wasn't a very social person to begin with. And then I withdrew even more from the world and, I have one really good friend today, and that's about it. And then I have my family, which is a pretty small family, actually. So I don't have a lot of people in my life. And I think it would be good for me to start allowing people to get close to me again, to start allowing people to get to know me. And so that I have people to, I don't know, go to a concert with, <laughs> I need to get get involved with life again, basically. And I would like to also be a bit more social here. I want to be better at talking to you guys. I want to be better at going on Facebook and actually participating in the Art Addicts Alliance. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be trying my best this year. I'm really going to be focusing on that. So um, another word on my list is support, because I really would love to support other artists. Um, if my financials allow me to this year I would love to buy at least art from at least one artist like I really would love to be able to support other artists plus having other artists art around even if it's prints or originals I don't know but just having other people's art would just be so amazing and I really want that this year even if it's just from one artist to begin with that's just fine I just really want to try this so yeah um <clears throat> also I want to I want to work more on my stories. Um, I actually used to write a lot. Uh, when I was 19, I was in the last year of my education. And uh, I used to write a ton. I was working very intensely on my story, and my monster story. And that was kind of my break from writing <laughs> reports and papers uh, was to write stories. Yeah, I'm, I'm that kind of moron. <laughs> I took a break from writing by writing. <laughs> Um, but stupid 19 year old me did not have backup of her files so when my computer died it took all of my stories with it and that kind of discouraged me so I haven't actually written anything since and that's bad so I want to get started back up again I'm probably going to start just with some fan fiction just to get into the habit of writing again and then I want to work on my stories and that brings me to another word on my list which is my characters because I want to work on my characters. I want to work on my stories. I want to work on my characters. I want to do character reference sheets. I've actually started and I'm getting it done this year. So yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, also commissions is part of my list because I really want to try doing commissions this year. 
I am working on a Facebook fan page at the moment. I'm not very good with the whole Facebook thing, nor am I very good with computers, so <laughs> it can take a while for me. But I'm working on a Facebook fan page, and through that, I'm hoping that I can do some commissions. I'm going to tell you guys, of course, when I'm opening up for that. Uh, though I'm mainly focusing on selling to people in Denmark, because I know shipping can be really expensive. Um, but yeah. So if you're dying to own something made by me, there is hope. <laughs> um, and I really want to just thank you guys, because without you, I wouldn't have had the confidence to to try this whole thing, to try actually selling my art. Um, you guys are the reason that I have started believing in myself again, and that means a ton to me. So thank you so, so much. Um Oh god, I think the last the last the last word on my list which I got to talk about real quick is new because I want to make I want to try new stuff. I want to go out into the world try new stuff. I want to try new stuff on my channel, new kinds of videos, new kinds of artwork. As you can see here I'm working with markers, which I rarely do because I don't have a lot, but I am doing it and yeah, lots of new stuff. So hopefully <laughs> I'm going to reach my goals this year. And that is about it for this video. I don't have any more time to ramble on. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you'll go check out all the other members of the Art Addicts Alliance who participated this month uh, and watch their artworks. I have seen a few and it's awesome. And um, yeah, that's it for now. I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching and bye.